catch that cat? Cats are cooking. He is high and loud is wild. Watch that cat? Cats are looking mighty fine and right on style. Always the best at the cafe shit. Watch that cat? Cool cat. Watch that cat? Crazy cat. Cats are cooking. My old man. What are we working with today, huh, Chef Goulash? Truffles, tangerines, tempura? Ah! A tin of tuna? Tuna? Today we will be making tuna melt. It is a simple dish, but some people go, how you say, bonkers for him. First, we drain the liquid from the tin. Ah. Empty tuna into mixing bowl. Add a little mayonnaise. Now mix them all up, get your toast, Spread the tuna on the toast, put on as much as you like, and top it off with a slice of cheese. You leave them like this, or cut them into little shapes. Then you put the whole lot under the gorilla at low heat. Then, in the time it is taking you to clean up the mess, and getting rid of that can, we will be having fish smells for weeks. The tuna melt will be ready! Ta-da! It's a pity Leftover is not around. He would love this. A work of genius. Oh, 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 thank you, madame. I will invite Baroness Borsch and all her friends to a special tasting of your tuna melt tonight. Then we'd better get some more tuna. Get whatever you need, my brilliant boys. Because tonight, when Baroness Borsch tastes your tuna melt, the whole town will know you are the two stars of this cafe. Carbonara, I folded the napkins. <laughs> You are the true stars of this cafe. Ha! I would like to see Pickles and Goulash try to do my job. I know. I'll cook dinner tonight. Then we see who is the star of this cafe. I'm gonna cook pasta a la pesto. <laughs> it's the spaghetti. All I need now is my mystery sauce. Well, there's some sauce. And now is the mystery. Funny looking spaghetti. Mamma mia! Oh no! It's an obend! And all with this one! 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 I'm so glad you could make it, Baroness. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I hope not, madame. My friends and I gave up a charity ball in aid of Mange to be here tonight. The best and brightest talent of Café Courgette have come up with a dining treat that is unlike anything you have ever experienced. I'll just see how it is coming along. <laughs> Madame Courgette! Pesto? Uh, um, probably una cosa. Come si dice? I can explain. <laughs> you can? Yes. The water and, and Pesto's appearance and everything are all just a part of tonight's special theme, which is. Yes? Surfing. Surfing? Yes. And wasn't it realistic? That stunt cost us a fortune to set up. But wait, surfing! Because tonight's special is Chef Goulash's own unique recipe. Seafood surfboards. It is? We just make the ordinary tuna melts. But you said we can cut them into any shape. So why not slice them into three pieces like this, trim off the corners to make the surfboard shapes, and stick them on top of the cheese to make the surfboard fins. Voila! Brilliant, Madame Cochette. Your surfing theme's a big success. Particularly these delicious seafood surfboards. <laughs> but I must admit it is your surfing waiter who is the real star of Café Cochette. Oh. What's that cat? Cats are cooking. He is hot and loud is wild. What's that cat? Cats are looking Oui
Les baronnes, yo parti cars will simply adore the handmade fouk chocolat of café cougette. But of course, I expect only the very best for my guests. And make sure the chocolates are delivered right on time. I detest tardiness. I said shop, not squash. The dried fruit must be little chewy pieces. Now, watch how I stir the chocolate over the hot water until the chocolate melts. Now, I dollop spoonfuls onto baking paper. Can I trust you to carefully press the dried fruit on while the chocolate is still soft? Easy cheesy! Easy cheesy? Now, put the chocolate in the cool room and get it on with the dishes while I go to fish market. Arrivederci, signor. It's been my pleasure to serve you, signor. Mean old tomcat. Ah, ah, presto. Set the table for tonight, put the bread in the baskets and put the champagne on ice. Pronto, presto. Mm, nobody ever think maybe I need a siesta. I wonder, will there be enough chocolates for Madame's guests this evening? Ooh. Café Cougette. I'm expecting extra guests. One hundred. And they all love chocolate. You pay double? Is molto short notice, my dear Baroness. Triple? I get the chef onto it pronto. Hey, boy, uh, let me help. You help me? Eh, that's the kind of cat I am. <laughs> Them chocolates, they look uh, magnifico. Thanks. They must be molto difficult to make, eh? Huh? No. Easy cheesy. Easy cheesy? Yep. Melted chocolate, dollops on baking paper, then press on dried fruit and into the cool room. I'm finished these. You take a siesta, mio little amico, eh? We promised. Pardon. Pardon. Oui, je crois là immédiatement. Goulash! Goulash! Oh, God, he won't be back for ages. Catastrophe, my reputation ruined. Why? Somehow, someone promised more chocolat to the Baroness. How? For this afternoon. The Baroness, she was my best customer. Let me make the chocolates, please. Could you? Easy cheesy. Easy cheesy? You save my fur, my pretty zucchini flower. When you see Pasto, tell him to finish those dishes. We are very busy tonight. Just in the nick of time, young man. Look, chocolate! Oh, on my oh, way! Mmm, delicious. Delectable. Divine. Thank you, Mayor. I had my personal chef, Goulash, make them especially for me. Watch that cat. Cats are cooking. He is high and love is wild. Watch that cat. Cats are looking mighty fine and right on style. We go home. We can do all this tomorrow morning. No. You must always clean up at the end of the day. 
Do you want ants? Do you want rats? Do you want this pesto going off? This pesto is going off. I got a big night tonight. Yeah, howling in alleyways, knocking over garbage cans, and getting into fights. It keeps me off of trouble. Ciao. Excusez-moi. I have a little favor to ask of you. Pizzicato 400 la dolcevita cappuccino. I want to try and open the cafe for breakfast, beginning tomorrow morning. Oh, va bene, let me know how it goes. Wait, I will need stuff, and I would like you all to come in early tomorrow for the extra shift. Mm, why not? Yeah, we could try out some breakfast recipes. No, no, absolutely no, I cannot. I'm going out tonight and I need my sleep beauty. Do you want a waiter looking like this? Okay then, I just have to give you the sack and hire someone else. I'll be here at dawn. I bet your pesto was at least an hour late. <laughs> I'm betting you it doesn't show up at all. Buongiorno, sleepyheads. How did you wake up so early after your late night? I don't, I stay up all night long. You must be exhausted. Not me. I have the energy of a uh, hundred waiters. We'd better hurry then with our breakfast special. Bananas bonanza. Three will do to begin with. You peel them, cut them into six slices, while I put butter in this frying pan. One tablespoon should do it. Now, add your bananas. I will lightly saute them while you beat six eggs in a small bowl. Good. Now, add half a cup of resins and a teaspoon of cinnamon to the eggs. The bananas are nicely brown, so I will take them off while we cook the eggs. A low heat will do. A few stirs to stop it sticking. Add the bananas to the egg mixture. Stir and... We have enough breakfast bonanzas to serve three people. And add a dollop of yogurt for taste. <laughs> mm, what a healthy start to the day. Full of energy. Speaking of energy, where's Pesto? He should be here with the orders by now. Oh, no. Wake up, Pesto. What happened to the energy of a hundred waiters? No. Pesto, if you care about your job, wake up before... Bonjour, mes amis. Too late. It's good to see everyone here so early. Sunglasses, Pesto? He's not used to the early morning sun. Or the early morning working. I am going to keep my eye on you and make sure you pull all your weight this morning. Do you understand? <laughs> good. Because if you don't, you can say au revoir to your job. Pesto, you're about as much use as a puppet. A puppet? I'll have the breakfast bonanza. Me too. Me three. See, three bananas bonanza. Here are the orders. Where are the breakfasts? Paprika, pickles. What are you? Don't ask. Just put the tray in my hands. I can't see a thing back here. Hey, sir. Wait a Bonanza, breakfast please. bonanza, please. Over here. Over here. Breakfast bonanza, over here. Where's my breakfast bonanza? Breakfast bonanza, breakfast bonanza, bonanza for me. Me. Oh, breakfast bonanza too. Over here. Me too. Wait a minute. But I cannot hang around here. I have work to do. Ha! Some people just knock up with early mornings. <laughs> What's that cat? Cats are cooking. Heat is high and love is wild. What's that cat? Cats are looking mighty fine and right on style. Always the best at the cafe cliche. Oh, 
Everybody, as you know, Prince Mark of Mongolia is dining here tonight. And it's a very, 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 very great honor for us all. Well, well not great really. Great we will do everything as well as we can. So you must all be at your very, very, very best. Chef Goulash must make the very, very, very finest meal you can. Parfait. I always do, madame. But this time... I am so happy. You see, my little friend, we bake the precious perfect petite potato in the oven. Now, we carefully slice off the top of the potato. We open it out like a flower. Then in the middle, we put tuna, sour cream, sprinkled with chives. And there we are, my newest creation, potato mog royal. It's great. Is not so bad, I suppose. Oops! <laughs> See? No problem. Oh, sorry, Baroness Borsch. Don't worry about it, my dear darling boy. Oh, I nearly forgot. Would you please tell my dear friend, Madame Courgette, that Prince Mog won't be dining at her little teensy weensy cafe tonight? Huh? His feline fineness has naturally decided to eat proper royal food in a proper almost royal home. Mine. <laughs> Poor Madame Courgette. She was so happy. Now she'll be so sad. Hmm. Well, here goes. What an honor! Your serene Cajesty, I'm a pesto, and I'll be your waiter for tonight. If there's anything, anything at all, any teensy thing, no problem. Uh, thank you, my good man. This way, if you'd be so very kind, your most excellent everything in the world. But really, your gracious honors, little Cyanus. Oh my word, Baroness Borscht, I've never tasted such horrible food. Out of my sight. Yes, sir. Café Couchet. I suppose the food couldn't be any worse here. Your Cajesty, this is a special meal I have created just for you. It's just what you think you're doing, young man. Uh-oh. But uh, you... But uh, you... Suck! I knew it. I knew you were a faker the first time I see you. You think I'm a stupid oh? Unhand me, you swine! I'm no swine, I'm a cat! Pesto, it's me, Pickles. I'm the fake. You're the fake? Oh, mille pardone, signora. Your cajesty, I knew all the time that... Quiet! You... I'm so hungry. Chef Goulash made it especially for you, sir. It's called Potato Mog Royale. Named after me? How superb! It was my idea. Quiet! Hmm. This is superbly wonderful. Would you all care to join me for dinner? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you. I'm a hungry one. Huh? More food and keep it coming. My friends are hungry. <sighs> right away. Ah, I'm so glad I came. You're so glad you came twice. <laughs> 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 Cats are cooking.